he was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him <laughs> on the force. The <laughs> Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. Years? She's only 29. And she just made the rank of commander after lieutenant commander before joining your... Ragtag bunch. <laughs> What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The council just turns a blind eye. Specters have a lot of power, Shepard. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Well, that's why people on the boat were talking about that Nihilus guy. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. They can disappear that fast? Tell me about Bar Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target. But a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, I have to use the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Yeah, saw before. Sweet. This is it. The very heart of the Citadel. The pinnacle of galactic power. Kind of makes your head spin if you think about it too much. 
So, this is where the Council passes judgment on all us little folk, huh? Ever get the feeling we're in over our heads, Commander? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. You sure have to climb a lot of stairs to reach the Council. Think that's supposed to be symbolic of their importance? That guy's up to something. What guy? The one over by the Keeper. <gasps> what? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keep- Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. And so it begins. <laughs> no, I'm w Commander. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Commander. Admiral. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the Council knowing it? Maybe the Council does know. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that to. I know. But if it's true, shouldn't we be doing something about it? No. And I'll thank you to keep me out of it if you do. Why, you can't talk freely in this society? Don't worry, Bambi. By the third game, you'll finally get the endurance you need. I can't believe the Council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. That's posing. Kaden will have another migraine. Please do not disturb the keepers. Too late. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. I'll be back. <laughs> I got a speech check there. In light of the recent.
recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. There's only one colony. What about the others? Sheesh. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. When you put it that way, there's no reason they wouldn't like you. I mean, us. Humans. Them. You don't take much shore leave, do you, LT? There's the first hint of attraction. Well, technically, a couple. All right, laugh it up, Chief. I appreciate the thought, Alenka, but we're on duty here. Uh, I, I, ma'am. I'll walk drag, ma'am. <laughs> you can keep the Presidium. This is where the action is. Too many lights, too much noise. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. See, her under cleavage got definition. Why didn't the. Uh... Shaira get under cleavage definition. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillian Blitz. <laughs> Everybody knows her. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. <laughs> 